can happen. I feel like I had a lot of trust in Astronauts on this map at one point, but not so much anymore. I don't know if it's just because they've, they've been playing OG and they're so it's... ridiculously good on this map, but either way, I, I I don't have the same confidence. No, I think part of it too is remember like when you started having some confidence in Astralis, like they were figuring it out on this map as well as when Config was playing at his True, best. That yes. little resurgence that Config had that's kind of seemingly slipped away, but he's such a force to be reckoned with in the middle. Attention taken away from Brokey initially, but brought right back. And Rops is doing an incredible job of keeping Kerrigan hidden. Yes, he is. All the attention gone to Rob's, so they don't even know about Kerrigan. He's going to sneak in. They do come off the plant at the very least. That could have been an instant death right there. What a nice shot. Picking it off. Another headshot to come through, and it's Blameth on his own. Should have no chance here, but he will still take down one of them. Glocks out. He almost has him. One more bullet to connect. What a scary moment for Kerrigan. He's out of the open. The flash doesn't quite catch him there, but the bullets most certainly will. And it, it's going to be Blame F with the one versus two. Clutch to start on Ancient. Give it a little dance, throwing some shade over to Kerrigan after the fact. Nice pistol round from Astralis. I, I mean, man, I can't believe they survived this. Two quick headshots from Kerrigan hiding behind the box. Felt like that should have been all she wrote, but a good duel for Blame F. 1v2. <laughs> Not today. Not today? Not That's it? Today, That's Kerry. all he had for us? Yeah, it's light. It's like kind of lighthearted, but I like it. I, li I just love the fact that they can shout and, you know, try and get a little bit of uh, trash in there. I like it. Yeah. It's good times. It is wonderful. Here we go. Utility. Now, Astralis did lose a round like this on Inferno. Zipix is going to get the opening kill, but Brokey's here. Aim punch ruins his day. Flying Mac-10s. For Config, double kill for him, and Twist is going to step up to the plate now, try and recover the round. They have no idea he's here. Ooh, if he could have got a clean first kill, might have been able to clean up the second player because Config was low. And Rops is left in a 1v4, so it should be a 2 nothing. Did he tag both of them with one Deagle bullet while they were mid-air with those flying Mac 10s? Yeah, it really might have. Did, it looked intense. Close to turning the round, and Farleg spots one. He's got 12 HP, so he wants nothing to do with the fight, but that really makes sure there's no more danger in the round or... Astralis losing a player. The Blame F wants to give him a shot. All right. Didn't didn't learn his lesson on Inferno. No, he really didn't. Galil's been picked up. He could do more. Going to be finding Sip as well. So great. Couple of kills. Steal the Galil. Not going to be able to catch him at the end of it. Think either. So that's not too bad. No, I'm uh, forcing rebuys. You're going to drop uh, drop the deagle over to a teammate as well. So Rops now has rifle and armor, and that's the last thing you want coming into a round like this. I think possibly they both got tagged. Either way, doesn't really matter. They're going to win the round. The Eagles being upgraded into supporting the Galil. And silly as it seems, we, Astralis, they were struggling on Inferno to win some of these rounds. They were have, This is exactly how they got off to a bad start, even if they were about to build a good start. So I really want to see Astralis just come through this round without too much trouble and make sure they can get the 3-0 lead. Well, let's say that. Yep. And already... Config's gone down. Blame if the due diligence there. Yeah, we saw him do a hard clear like that yesterday as well on this map. So, I mean, Blame F just doesn't forget about that corner. There's that rifle on Rops. Oh There's that God. Deagle on Twist. There's that Galil back again. And it's gone from bad to really bad. <laughs> well, that's the round. I feel like the... I feel like... <laughs> Almost a sad part of, of some of this is there's so much silence and you're just seeing like a strong space crew and it's a single deal shot. Boom. Done. There's not there's no follow up. No one can revenge anything. They just die on their own. Yeah. I mean, uh, just a ton of deagle shots uh, that Galil might have not even really been necessary in this round. But you could see even when it passes over a good kill there and the final kill from the Galil as well. Prime opportunity for Kerrigan to... I was thinking the same thing. I was like, why didn't he shout back at him? They're polite people. Unfortunately. Well, they're going to force into the round anyway, Astralis. I can't really blame them for it. I, you, you want to try and see if you can recover your, your dignity a little bit and, and just come back into the mix. But, yeah, they, they, they have to stop losing rounds like that. This has, got to. To, this has got to be a dry fight. There, there's not enough utility across the map to, make a, to kind of have a standard, like, map control execute style round. They've got, you know, Molotov, Smoke, Flash. That's it. Three nades for the entire Astralis round. And actually, Config doesn't want the duel. And then Farlick just back away from that A-bomb site. 
mid control for twists and we know he's good at it rain is there in support as well they've got a decent setup everywhere they go rain's kind of in a swing position to be able to help kerrigan and twists whichever one he chooses classic phase defense over the b-bomb side isn't it rain and kerrigan just they are experts at it very very hard to beat it's always seemed to find a good timing we'll see if kerrigan's gonna be able to rain taking all the attention at first kerrigan sneaking in and getting that kill on glaive and they trade pretty well nice nade to blow up blame down there last parting gift for rain and it's config on his own yeah that defense worked exactly how it's designed nice job good first kill from rain is everything to keep the attention towards the left so kerrigan can swing out and get one more config is uh he's wary he's clearing corners 14 seconds left not going to go for the round. I don't even know if he's going to move forward into Rops's position. Just save the weapon. Yeah, Config hanging out here by the ferns. Between two ferns, some would say. Yeah. One of the oldest species of, uh, of plant life. Oh, fuck. In case you were interested. I, oh, I am interested. Yeah. It's... I don't know if actually anyone cares about this at, at a pro level, but I feel like I'd be so much more upset almost knowing beforehand what kind of setup I'm going to run into with Rain and Kerrigan out there and still feeling like it's... can't stop it, you know? Like, Kerrigan being aggressive at the bottom of that ramp is... So it ha not all the time, obviously, but it happens a lot. And you still lose a player to it. Yeah, really kind of the, the only way around it with the utility that Astralis had was just winning that, that duel against Rain. The initial fight had to be a victory so that the follow-up players could, could address the Kerrigan situation. Config is going to lead the way with an AK-47. Smoke in their face is going to slow things down, but you have to imagine they're going to go through. Config is going to be third one in. He's going to bait everyone. Looks like they want to come right through this smoke. Here we go. Rox spots the first jump and spots the AK-47. He's got Twist in support who's handling business. Oh, he's going for the ace. He's going to get it nice and easy. All five kills for Twist. That's really well done. Look at the awareness as well, apart from obviously the, the mechanical aspect of it, but... It's almost like he, he understands the second he sees the first guy charging out that this is just a bait. So he tries to get the spray, but when he can't, he falls back and it's like, all right, I'm, I, there's going to be a second or third player that's just going to be aiming for me, right? Yeah. So, and that all happens in like less than a second. And, so and you're also pull, pulling him into twist crosshair as well. You're yeah. pulling him into the setup. So just really well played, smartly played from Rops and twist. Yeah. Three rounds straight for phase on defense. There's so many back in the hands of Astral. Is that not the most amazing buy? That could well be enough. Looking for a smoke? Car keys? Ooh, that's the worst. Oh, lost. Oh, dear. Maybe a little toad. Maybe a little pet toad or something. Oh. Well, you got to be worried because it looks like that was kind of critical to the setup. Maybe uh, looking for a smoke to drop a second smoke in middle, but doesn't matter when Glaive gets that entrance. Twist turns the corner. Glaive has that as well. Two headshots for him. Rain steps up next, finally puts a stop to it. And nobody else can handle anything from FaZe. It's Kerrigan and Brokey against three. It's a weird round, but it's been working so far. They still need some space for the bomb plant. They don't know if they have control or donut enough. Ooh, Kerrigan. He probably should have been dead right then and there. Awkward timing. Does get naded down to 21 health, but they're not through on the bomb plant yet. That's the problem. Even though they have the bombs on it and have had it for a good 20 seconds, they still haven't really found the space for it. That doesn't connect, and finally they get to put the bomb down. So a little bit of a step in the right direction. Kerrigan, though, sneaking all the way out. And there's that CC from Config. Going to be taking him down. So now it's time to escape if you can. Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised Flame Up didn't have a deeper angle to cut off that rotation. But brokey has got to drop a smoke. Try. Oh, what? okay. Yeah, sure. Give it to him. I, I actually wanted him to run yeah, back. Look at his little cheeky smile as he did that, too. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> he no-scope headshotted him from half, half a map away. How mad would you be? <laughs> I would have, I would have bit the the cord <laughs> off my mouse. <laughs> oh, there's the Molotov. Okay, nice catch, observers. Yeah, this, uh, that's silly. I would have headbutted the monitor. <laughs> He's like, yeah, what can I do? No scope, through smoke. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Even rain. <laughs> Look at everyone. Uh, Might have walked across the the studio to ask for an apology, like you know, just yeah. demand an apology. Just yeah. Like, can you at least say sorry? <laughs> <laughs>
Twist blinded, still recovers to be able to get the one kill on the Glaive. Four on four, but that's a little bit of space in middle opened up for the Astrala side of things, and Config is going to occupy that space. I'd actually love the comms from that previous round of Blame of looking for the grenade in the spawn. It'd be really funny if, if they just don't know where it is. This is another one of those critical rounds that they absolutely need to win Astralis. I mean, they've been, they've been giving up some rounds that are just so important. Config, right position, good idea. Couldn't kill Rops, but he's got some confirmation. He's controlling a lot of the middle here, so not too bad. Blameth taking down Kerrigan and Rain on the other side, and they knew he was coming, but he still gets the parting grenade. Yeah, and R Rops did commit to that fight against Config, was taken down, but Brokey's coming in with the off. He knows the position, don't matter. Missed shot, and Config has a little bit of revenge for the previous round. Rain gonna try and pick up the pieces. He's got the first of three. Transitioning over towards the A-bomb site. Molotov holds him at bay. Doesn't want to go for the long rotation through Temple. He does have a kit. Yes, he does, and they're both in donuts. Very hard to take this fight, although he really almost wins it against Farlik. That would have been huge if he could have turned it into a one-on-one. -on -one. Up on the box, and Farlik, a little bit too open, goes straight for the bomb defuse here. Not faking oh, no. it. Sip doesn't realize, and he's going to get the defuse right in front of him. Oh, heartbreaking again. Oh, that's tough to deal with. Yeah, it really is. Zip is just thinking, Sir, surely you're going to fake it. There's so much time left in that bomb. Why would you just stick it the whole way? And Rain just pulls a fast one on him. This is a good fight, although Farlick doesn't really need to be peeking necessarily yeah. at that angle, although I don't think he expected the hop up over the box, right? He's looking for the fight down low. And Zip extra's a quarter of a... Let's see what they could do. What a way to lose a round. One round lead for FaZe. Four of the last five going in their favor. Astralis has quick control. Uh, did he spot Kerrigan? Did he spot that jump? Look at Rain's aggression. They're doubled up in two quick kills for Astralis. They put a stop to any phase shenanigans. Good. That's, that is, seems like just a classic Rain and Kerrigan play right here. And they actually beat it. So that's amazing news. Rops has decided if it's going to be a three on five, I might as well take a huge risk and try and just walk into the smoke here. Config bumping into him. Almost a little bit adorable, but also kind of awkward. Yeah, less adorable when there's an AK-47 pressed to the side of his head. Config, a little death match going on. He's found twists. Config's starting to warm up in middle and starting to warm up into this map. He's got 10 kills, which is absolutely magnificent to see that out of Config if you're Astralis and you want to force a third. Don't tease, Jason. I, I really want Config to show up. He's getting there slowly, but man... The long road back. Yeah, and if you're Astralis, you kind of want to take this off away, but how much do you really want to invest in the hunt? Yeah, probably not worth it to throw rifles, too many more rifles into it. Sip, got to be careful here. Brokey turning the corner, and I don't think Sip saw him either. Nope, he's gotten away. He's going to escape with the AWP. So yeah, not too much of a hunt. They have him, they think they have him boxed in, I, I th it feels still, with Zipix. Slowly encroaching onto the B-bomb site. They'll find it empty. Blame F might be in trouble later on in the round. But it'll be a fourth. It's going to be all tied up. And look at the money over on the face side of things. They ain't no cash. No more. No, they're, they're absolutely broke. I didn't even realize, but you're right. I guess that, yeah, that last round did just cost them a little bit more. Rain with a one versus one. So even if, even if they won the round, it's, it's kind of a little bit close. Well, there could be something here. And they might find this AWP after all. Bomb just now ticking, last couple of seconds, and they're all coming for him. Good trade. That's that's really well done. Yeah, that, that's nicely done from Astralis. That's a beautiful find. Rips all the weapons out of their hands. So Faye's going to have a decision to make if they want to invest and force up. It's a, it's a little vitality earlier in the event as well. Able to best G2 in a best of three. Yeah, I, I still picked G2 with that one. I can't help myself. We'll see, though. I did, too. It just... I did too. Yeah, this time... I know, I know the different. feeling. Well, this is that round that they they shouldn't lose. They just... They must win it. And we say it sounds a little bit like a broken record, but it's true. Like, yeah. I'm not saying that they are necessarily easy rounds to win, but if you want to if you want to make it, if you want start to start to get into, like, the top eight, four of, of big tournaments, then... You can't give away too many rounds. They already have given away too many. And that's a good start. Rain and Twist are both going down. 
and a three versus five. And they have the right idea, carrying again forward down to the bottom of that B ramp, so they know what's coming. Brokey with the one kill and nearly a double. Yeah, nearly. That was a bit dicey. Kerrigan decides not to push. He's going to wrap back around. He's saying, all right, you've killed two of my teammates here. You killed one in middle. Maybe you won't expect a third player to come out of Jaguar. But Blame F is watching for it. Yeah, he's got the right idea. C set still somehow going to win that fight. A little bit awkward. Smoke is being put up. AK recovered. And now Rop's feeling like, all right, now there's a lot of attention over on this side of the map. Maybe it's my time to shine. Moving forward with the Deagle. But Config has got the absolute perfect idea. And we'll shut him down before he even got a look. Yeah, good read from Config. So Kerrigan's going to be happy to save the AK-47 into the next round. No reason to go for this one. But Astralis, I mean, even with a couple players' loss, avert danger, avert complete disaster in this round and can start building upon it. They're going to take a lead. 5-4. How about them apples? That's beautiful. And especially not the fact that, again, the phase economy is just not going to be that great even in the next round. So, yeah, a lot of opportunity right here for the Danish side to really to really put a real half together. And the unfortunate thing about that position from Rain too in middle is Twist loves playing that spot. Twist yeah. has played that a number of times in this half already, so K Config's already seen it, and he's not going to let that one slip. So a hard clear on Rain's position, never had a chance in the fight. Round number 10 coming up. And as you mentioned, economy is just busted for phase. Everyone's sitting around 2K. Kerrigan at least has the AK-47 with armor. But you have to, first of all, they know that the AK has been saved. You have to assume Astralis are going to be real careful at the beginning of this next round not to run into a flash and a, and a spray down. So wouldn't be surprised that they're going to try and be slow with it. And yeah, just just be careful. One C set picked up to follow it. Not a single flashbang purchased. So. I think they're going to rush B. Oh, okay. Not careful. I think they're going to say, whatever. Let's not give you a chance to have any kind of a setup or a boost. Let's get into this bomb site nice and quick. Oh, that's not ideal. They actually back off the initial contact. There is a crossfire. Not enough great weapons for FaZe, but it's working. This is dangerous. Blame F goes down next. And oh boy, this is taking a lot of time to get into this site. Even though Twist is... Oh. oh! That is salt in the wound. It is. And now the flank is coming in as well. Rops is not that far away. He does see it. Config, I think, had the right idea, but... Those were their own flashbangs. I think those were friendly flashbangs that managed to slow them down. Sip with a kill on Twist, finally. They find him. But now Kerrigan has shown up with the AK. They're almost lined up. Nice shot from Config. They needed that badly. And Kerrigan hits the ground. Now Rops sneaking through. They know where he's coming from. They have a pretty good idea of that. So they should be able to find the kill on Amir. USB in hand. Oh, Config's not even looking. He's going to be... Is he... Is he tucked in? Not that far tucked in. Oh, nearly the headshot. If he could have got a second one, it would have been a one versus one with a very low health config. The idea was probably fine, but friendly flash to show them, slow them down. And then twist here, recovering a smoke to, to buy even more time and a it, double kill, of course. It can't, that's, just a, that's just a weak execute on a B-Rush, to be, to be frank. Just no, no power to it. That MAC-10 is meant to create space with Blame F leading the way, right? Even if you're going to die. You Even need if you to, flash yet, yeah, you you need to keep going forward, and he really kind of put a, put the brakes on that rush. Yeah. Let's try it again. Yeah, one more time. Good flashes. This time he pushes all the way in, and that creates the space behind him. And through the smoke, no head armor on Kerrigan. He is dead for it. Trying to jump through Brokey. It's a heroic move, but he's going to have to get so much for it. He'd have to get those two kills and still stay alive for it to be even close to a winnable round. So, 7-4 to four is the, going to be the scoreline here. Astralis, I don't think they can lose this round. Even if they try. <laughs> well, let's not put anything past them. They have to really try. They'd have to try really hard. You're right. Twist isn't even going to go for it. Him and Rop's going to save the weapons. So, 7-4. to four. Astralis, this is, I mean, what a, what a great timing to just hit a complete reset of the phase economy, deliver that knockout punch, and, and just rack up the rounds off the back of it. Maybe it was like a, a demonstration in last like, let me show you how not to do a B-Rush. And now let me show you how to do it. Yeah, and now we get the, see the difference? You know, learning experience for all involved. Yeah, that's fair. It's a real teachable moment for all of us watching. It's good. We appreciate that. They say education is important. I wasn't paying attention when they were saying that, but... Well, at least, it, at least it stayed in your brain somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit of luck spamming through the smoke, but we'll take it. 
Rain and Kerrigan go down. Three round lead. Seven to four. Yeah, three round lead. Twelfth round coming up. M Force picked up, but again, the economy is so busted up for FaZe. Wow, this is turning into a great first half. Yeah, I was going to say, if Astralis can win this round, they're going to have a very, very good first half. You have to imagine they'll get at least one more against a weaker buy. Nade around the corner. Does a tiny bit. Believe just here to make sure that no one's going to be sneaking through seen a couple of examples already of what happens if you let this, the cts out from those a hallways if they get to flank all the way into t-spawn it's a it's a nightmare yeah hard to deal with extremely difficult but so is the setup like this as well twist gonna take a peek rops and him gonna coordinate a double peek rops goes down twist doesn't go with it does get the trade eventually that is actually so important imagine if he either just can't find him anymore, then it's just a, a straight opening for Astralis. So back into a 4-on-4 four four at a minimum. Yeah, and Config has shown presence as well. I believe Rain spotted him. So at the moment, the calls from Phaser that someone's out mid. Config's out mid. However, they are having a pretty gambly rotation over. Everyone evacuating the A-bomb site. Everyone evacuating what? Donut as well. It looks like Twist is going to bolster this B defense with three people and leave Rain in middle to deal with anything that comes from that position. Karrion going for the rare... Full on auto spray jump peek. Don't see that all the time, and he didn't really do much anyway, so maybe that's the reason why. Sip goes down to rain though. And you're right, that, that huge gamble towards the B bomb side is getting softened up now. Yeah, but it's taken a long time for Astralis to readjust across the map, so rain's gonna be here. Brokey's about to show up. He only has a deagle, but there's not gonna be utility in his face. Perfect flashbang for Rain and an open sight line for Config. Farlock's gonna rush forward and get the bomb planted. Seven seconds on the clock. Be careful. Yeah. It's Don't mess it up this time. Really careful. They had Donut under control. Blame if it's in there, so they know that he's not gonna get shot in the back, but still, a little bit risky, leaving it that low on the clock. Farlock's gonna be found by Rain, and it's back into a 2 1 3. Nice headshot. Oh, Config, this is everything we would have wanted. Triple in the round and 16 kills. That is the power of having him on your team. Twist now, one versus two, and Config, he spots him out. He knows where he is. Out in the open, though, and he's going to get the kill on the last one, too. So an absolutely sublime round from him. That's what it takes. That's what they need to win maps. Quad kill, 17-5 and five for Config so far in this map. And that was kind of a talking point coming into this, too, that we had, which is just the confidence in Astralis on this map was really born and bred from the performances of Config and how comfortable he felt on the map. And now he's hitting some bangers. So good in the middle. The Config couldn't have... They had no space to play with. And he got shut down. Mr. But... Double kill himself. Yeah. But it's working now. Deep Molotov. Twist. Trying to see if he can do something to slow it down. Rain going to be jumping out on the other side. Five in a row for Astralis. Yeah. I mean, FaZe are buying into the 13th round with not that much. Kind of a half buy, I suppose. Yeah, they'll have, they'll have enough money for the next round as the losing bonus is fully built up as well. There's some dangerous elements here, but it doesn't really impact any buys in the future. Nice clear from Rain as the smoke is still up in middle. He's got the cover to make that kind of a jump, and Kerrigan chiming in with the CZ phase in a five on three. Looking like they're right back on track, especially with that kill from Rops. Don't even know what to say, Jason. I feel like we've been here before. It's a it's a nice move from the phase side of things, again, pushing up, taking that aggressive control outside of the B-bomb side. That obviously puts pressure on Astralis, but they, it's not that much pressure, and the whole team crumbles. Kill on Config, that is a good kill in the middle, no doubt, but yeah, they shouldn't be losing well, to MAC-10s or MP9s and CZs. Well, I, I talk about it this way, too, because when we were, when we just watched the first map on Inferno, those kinds of rounds from phase came out in like really rough moments where, where Astralis is just starting to try and build momentum or getting their first win or starting to build up it to this. You can, you can handle a loss like that when you've rattled off five straight and you have, you know, a four-round lead and you have some of the momentum in the game. True. Good, good response here to open things up in round 14 for Config. Another opening kill for him. Rain goes down. A little bit of revenge from the previous. Rops. Ooh, yeah, Glaive feels like there's an opening here. Maybe I can sneak through, but he can't. Good kill. Rops on the double to take down Config second. And that brings it back. Three versus four. And it's not even enough... There's not enough of a fight or a distraction that the other three members of Astralis could pounce on the B-bomb side and go, ooh, there's something happening over there, let's go. 
it's just Robs, and then no one's going to be pulled that way. So tough recovery here for Astralis. They want to get that ninth round. Yeah, not really coordinated all that well. Slowly coming through that smoke, giving up the man advantage as well. Tough call to make. Although, what that was got? the last smoke on the B ramp here. There's, there's not many more nades here on the phase side, phase side. And Astralis still have a few grenades, so... If they wait it out, wait for the smoke to clear, maybe they actually could do something. Farlik, that's scary. He's going to be taking down Kerrigan. Twist with a nice return and a great flick. Broki shutting down the round, surely. Sip in a one versus three, taking down Twist. The bomb is lost up there, so he has to run up there and just fight. Well, you've got Berserker Config in this game. If you want to, you know, you'd love to have Clutch Minister roll it back one last time for this clutch. He's got him out in the open. Good shot from Rops. Standing his ground. Two in a row now for Astralis and looking like they're going to recover right at the end of the half. For phase, yeah, you're right. Um, they're in a still in a position where they can have a decent first half. Ugh. Yeah, you don't like to see it. No, it's it's hard to be critical because those those plays obviously can work. It just I personally I, I don't always enjoy watching those when you only have a man advantage. That's the follow up play. Yeah, let's try and walk through. It's, a, it's just a risk. It's so hard to say. Yeah. Obviously, you throw a flashbang and nobody's there. All you're doing is alerting them to the fact, and maybe they just shut you down anyway. I would have liked to have just seen them jump through. Like, if you want to go for yeah. that fight, then at least play for the trade, right? Like, don't try and play for, like, the gamble. Like, look how much we'll gain if nobody's here. Meanwhile, round 15 is just dominated by, again, Astralis aggression. Phase aggression. Yeah, that's what I meant. There we go. Either way... And again, it's, it's just of such a similar caliber. It's just rain pushing down. He's so relentlessly aggressive out there. Brokey good to kill on the other side. Kerrigan's going to be taking down Config, and Brokey's walking up. <laughs> it could have been a great no-scope. Nothing that Blameth could do. Low on health from earlier. Completely discovered already. Didn't know where he is. It's going to be the last round. Going to the... F just one of those two instead of both of them. Well, let's see if they can do some more. If they can stop with the hiccups here in the second half, they can actually get us to a third map, which would be on a nuke. I really want to see it because there's been a, an interesting game so far. Nice start. Oh. Headshot to kill Kerrigan right off the bat. USP doing all the work here. And we'll see. Twist trying to follow it up. It's a beautiful Molotov on top of Blame F. He had no chance trying to escape the fire. Sip will get one for the smoke. And that's awkward before the bomb is even planted. But the dualies have been recovered on Twist. Let's see what Van Dalken could do with those. Yeah, I would say someone, uh, if you put those in his hands, if anyone's going to deliver something special with him, Twist can do it. Brokey's going to wrap around Config. He's going to flank the flanker. It's got to be quick, though. Twist getting aggressive. He sees the gun barrel from Farlig. There's the shots. Transitions over. Nice quick headshot. Another headshot from Zip. Yeah, he, I think he thought maybe he was far, far enough back, but he wasn't. Still a little bit exposed. 10-second defuse. Brokey trying to work the angle, but he's being double-peaked, and Config will take the last one. Deep breath on the Astralis side, surely, because that was, uh, could have been a little bit close, but they win it. Yeah, great round from Zipix. First kill on Kerrigan, and he was just a beast throughout the entire thing. Just a quick headshot here. Repositioning finds one, fortunately, through the smoke. That's even the bomb plant as well. Yeah. Didn't notice that the first time around, and even that response from Twist to make sure he can't build upon it. Both pistols now to Astralis in the second map. But I think, have they, they've managed to string three rounds together, have they, behind it? I feel like every time they... Yeah, on Inferno, they lost the second round. Last half, they won the pistol, they lost the third round. So yeah, they haven't really been able to get the full sweep after winning the pistol, the full benefit of the pistol. And that's a MAC-10 beating out an M4 in middle. And very awkward. Let's keep our eyes on that as well. Config had, what, 20 kills to end the first half? Yes. I don't believe I saw him get a kill in the pistol. I think got the last one. So okay. maybe 19. So yeah. 19 kills in the first half. Good shot from Glaive. He's got more wrapping around him. He's got no idea. He's about to get trucked from behind. Ooh, almost adjusted. Almost came back into it. But now there's AKs in open space. Faze on the verge again of stealing the advantage of winning the pistol. Heads up play from Farley. Instead of pushing forward, slowing it down, allowing Rops to basically walk into his crosshair. That was a nice play. Good read. Two versus three. They're pretty close to it here. Flanking through Jonah as well at the same time. Farlik with a second kill. He might have brought his team back into this one. They're low on health, but still, Twist has no real estate to stand on. He's out in the open, feeling very lonesome, but fighting to the death, taking down Sip and Blame of his solo on health. He might have done a triple kill on Twist right here and hiding behind the box. Oh, he's so good. He's already seen him. And this is why we call him the Magician, the Magnificent Van Dolken, sneaking out and getting the quad kill, clutching it for FaZe.
God, there's really no clean way for Astralis to make those fights cohesive. Twist takes the initiative and finds Farley. This is a quad kill in the round overall, but the 1v3. Zipix is trying to react off this, but tapping away, Twist manages the recoil perfectly, and then Blame F has no health for the 1v1 and no kit, and he's got the team hyped up. Yeah, <laughs> they love that. He's... There's no, it just seems there's no pressure on him. That second fight against Twist where he has to, he has to tap away at range, it's like that's all he's built for. That's, that's so his good. bread and butter, isn't it? Twist is a underrated clutch player in the scene. He's delivered another good one here. Config and Glaive, their aggression's been spotted out and neutralized and forced back. Remember, that almost began, opened up with the MAC-10 entry onto Config in middle who had the M4. That whole fight was so awkward. It looked like there was plenty of time for Config to, to maybe reply, but I don't know if he was flashed. He was flashed. Yeah. yeah. At, least for, at least for a part of it. So anyway. So anyway, back to this old chestnut. Yeah, we're back here again. Yeah, you've won both pistols, but how much does it really matter if you can't win the ensuing rounds afterwards? It also feels like when it happens over and over again, across the, the stretch of a whole best of three like this, and maybe even some of the other days where they've been playing, it, it, it starts to feel at one point like, it's almost just destined to be, you feel like, come on, you know? So it, it's not even funny anymore. Now we're just doing it again and again. So, Glaive. Almost had found. Them, yeah. yeah, good, uh, good checking by Robs. And now the SMG's chewing up the rest, jumping Mac 10. Still gonna be finding a kill there, but ultimately it'll be phased to win the round. And that was a full investment from Astralis, Armor, and Deagles. So they're going to have to sit the next one out. Other ability for those MAC-10s, especially on Brokey, to chew them up and gain some bonus money for the AWP later on in the half. And here we go, round number 19. It's all tied up at 9. Molotov still in spawn. Glaive with 5 kills, Farlig with 5 kills. That is obviously going to have to change... Yes. Yeah, that's a, that's an issue. Right, they're going to be running out the middle through the smoke, right next to Brokey, overpowering him at the very least, but nothing else. Twist is happy to take another triple, putting him at 21. So, building up the scoreline nicely for himself. Quick lead now for FaZe in the second half. It's a one-round lead, but still. Yeah, this is actually, I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. Glaive is essentially playing like a flashbang in that round, right? You don't actually have one to throw out and blind him, but he's the one just kind of rushing to his death to get the opening for the other players to come through the mid-smoke. Yeah. Uh, obviously low percentage and obviously didn't work in any way. But 10-9, to nine, one round lead for FaZe. Arian waiting for the flash to go through. It's a good idea, but Farnig is there to receive him. One of the two players you mentioned needs more kills on the board. He's going to get one there, and they'll back off the middle. So four versus five now, and at least a nice start to this round for Astralis. Yeah, and Farlig's off was one of the important factors on Inferno that let them have a decently strong CT side as well. He delivered some really, really high-impact frags and sequences in that map, so obviously Astralis is going to want to get that weapon out in his hands as quickly as possible. Brokey shows elbow, Blame F starts shooting, but that's a tough fight to win. Zipix feeling lonely at the bomb site, gonna smoke off ramp and try and give himself some cover from behind. Rops adds a kill on the glaive. He's infested the middle of the map before Config can take him down. And at least this hit towards the B bomb site has been stalled out. Yes, it really has. I think Sip really underestimated how quickly they were moving up behind him. I think he felt like he had a lot more space to go smoke off the ramp and then turn around to take the fight, but. He, I think he almost died just for on timing. Can Farlick? Can they get the bomb? This is interesting. Brokey's behind him in cave. Not yet coming out just yet. Twist has flanked again, followed up towards middle, and now he's the only one. He might be able to catch Config from behind, but he's not really considering it. Wrapping around the B-bomb site, he's got 30 seconds left. Said he was an underrated clutcher. This one's going to be extremely difficult. Yeah, most especially with the time that's left here. 25 seconds. He has to run almost at the end of it here. I don't think this almost can't be done now. The bomb is just so far away. If it was in the cave right next to him, it would have been a little bit different, but this is a tough one. Gonna go over the kill there on Farley. 10 seconds, and he's just running forward, but if they hide, they've won the round. So as long as they don't both fight him, it's gonna be all right. He gets kill one kill there. Five seconds, Config's right around the corner. Gonna be a little bit careful here. Timing's running out, so at least they win the round, but man, 
who knows if he would have if he would have ran straight into the middle he probably had that one second to get the kill yeah that could have been interesting it's obviously impossible to know look even in a loss those are great kills to find right at the end we just mentioned farleg wanted to get the op out in his hands even with the way it was even when he just kills farleg it's like that's good economic damage that's gonna yeah. keep things out of the way yeah add one more onto zip after the fact and that's huge what a great sequence from twist and a losing effort and probably even go some way to but really, really labored. Astralis can use a clean win at some point. And there's another buy behind this for FaZe. If you want to look at the reverse side. Kerrigan, hyper-aggressive. Goes down first. Zipix able to kill him in coordination with a flashbang from Glaive and a blame F peak along his side. Five on four. Okay, not too bad. At least they get the opening here. Zip drops low, but... On the other side, Rob's... Ooh, that's, a, that's a long shot to take down Farleg in that cave. We're in the back hallway there. Well done. Config, though, not lacking confidence. Gonna go take the fight straight to him. And that is a very important fight for Config to win. That establishes the control over at the A-bomb side again. They feel a little bit more safe. Groki has the right idea, but if he misses a shot here, he is definitely dead. Walks up, doesn't quite check the corner, and it's a double for Blame F. And this is another one versus three for Twist, this time with a lot more time on the clock, though. Yeah, he's got way more to work with, but that smoke is going to delay things. Looking for the follow-up peak, Config is wrapping all the way around. Now, this smoke might actually allow Twist to just feel comfortable checking his back, but didn't have the timing. And Blame F with that double kill also gets the deliverance of an AWP at his feet. So get to pass that over to Farley. Great round from Astralis. They needed that one. Yeah, AWP, three people alive. They go from basically a one-on-one -on -one where the time's running out in the previous round that they barely win into this one. No more cash, really. Oh, there's a little bit of cash on the face side, but awkward buy if they wanted to put it together. Uh, I was going to say, they're, they're, this time out, too, they, they can actually call and say, look, we, we're not going to do AK-47s, a Galil. Maybe that's what Carrion's thinking. What is the worst thing that could happen if I was on the Estrada side right now? Is they lose one more of these rounds? Let's try and do that. Let's see. That, that's what we're aiming for. But initially, they are smoked and Molotov off all of the forward positions, nearly. Rain has managed to get out here between the sea of flames in front and behind him. Regardless of what happens here, this has been a really cool series out of Astralis. It's awesome to see them actually contend and fight back with FaZe. Yep. And Config's getting some kills even in the second half here. We talked about that a little bit. I mean, it's not nearly as insane, but it's pretty good. Yeah, he's, four or five kills so far in the second half. Yeah, you can respect it. Smoke being put up to try and create a little bit more of a runway. Molotov in. Kerrigan leading the charge with the Tech-9, and he's almost finding Config. It's so close, and he gets the shot eventually, trying to escape. Perfect utility timing there. So flashed as he comes through, and now Kerrigan on top. Could he see the helmet? He can't quite. And no bomb plant here as Huge. Blade will get one more through the smoke. But there is a flank coming from Rain. Yeah. See if they are going to be realizing that. Yeah, if this round slows down, you have to imagine oh, Farley can blame F. They haven't caught onto it yet. No alarm bells just yet. Oh, this is huge. Rain, trigger discipline. This is going to be, oh, this is going to be so bad. But that took way too long. Way too long. Almost a perfect play. Yeah, what an awkward moment. And especially maybe for someone like Rain, but... Yeah, he wanted to try and get the double, and in the end, just traded away. And that's what they needed, Astralis. That could have been easily the round going to phase instead. And also, if Brokey hadn't got spammed down for the smoke, but actually got the bomb plant, yeah. imagine how powerful that flank is all of a sudden. Yeah, that double kill from Glaive is everything to save the day. It delays the plan, it allows the, the utility, the smokes and the Molotovs that were up to fade away and subside. That, that opened up the door for this round. Good find over the top onto Kerrigan, and obviously just get a little bit lucky spamming through the smoke to find Brokey. This yeah. is the one. I was actually surprised that Rain took the shot here at Glaive. Yeah, I thought maybe he was, I thought he was just going to continue forward and deal with Glaive later. Well, easy to, to be the, what is it, Monday yeah, morning yeah, quarterback? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is that, that a turn? That's, I love getting paid to be the Monday morning quarterback. All right. Better than being the actual quarterback. You're always Look, right. There's no better job than the third string quarterback on a, on a football team. There we go. As you can tell I don't know anything about football you know, at all. Rain already tagged up, more so now. Deagles across the board, two round lead for Astralis. And there's and Kerrigan saying, look, we had access to the B-bomb site, let's go back to it. This time, let's get the plant, let's see what happens. At least, you know, if we know they're playing passive, at least we can get this bomb down in the extra money. Didn't work in the previous round, but here was just Deagles and unarmored. Ooh, Rops, get it planted. Yeah, definitely trying to do that. He's just faking it. Dave runs right in there and cleans it up. What a great one tap at the end on Kerrigan. And that means no bomb plant. 
they got a little bit greedy. They're like, maybe we can get the bomb plant and the kill before we do it. But um, not so. Glade with a great cleanup. I also respect the fact that finally got the kill, threw the Molotov, and then ran back. He's like, yeah. I'm not, I don't want to lose this AWP. We're going to win the round anyway, as long as we're playing four on five versus Deagle. So let's just play it cool. I'm really surprised uh, Robster didn't go for that bomb plant. Yeah, that was Aaron. that was the whole point of it. We could have used that extra 800, although they got, you know, solid buy here. Yeah, they sc scrape it together. Three round lead. Astralis three rounds away from getting onto the third map on Nuke. We said Glaive and Farleg would need to kind of step up their performance in the second half when they were at five kills just a few rounds ago, where Farleg's had four since that moment and Glaive has had six since that moment. So nice little jump up in performance from them, and you can see the impact of Farleg's AWP. Out middle we go. Config, Ooh. so blind, no safety anywhere on the map. Opening kill goes to phase. Strong start. It actually does tag off Blame it. Uncomfortable for him, but he still wins the fight, and he's going to continue to win against Twist this time. Carrigan, knife out. Is he going to check it? No, it doesn't feel like it. You could see yeah, a little bit too much speed behind that one, and Sip will catch him. Broke in Robs, two versus three. Are they going to try and get through here? Grenade is nice to slow him down. Robs, though, and especially Flashed, is going to be dead. He had the right idea, probably. And another flashbang. Can't believe Brokey actually gets that headshot, but the supporting flashbangs there are godlike. And he's going to fake it and run away. Why not? Well, yeah, why not at all? Rops even had the read. You're exactly right. He saw the trajectory of that HE grenade, so a little bit of trickery being brought in from Brokey. But Glaive, you're not going to fool him. Knife out. Just gets the AK out, but pre-aiming a deep angle, and Glaive's ahead of it. Another round for Astralis. Knocking on the door of that third map. Knocking on the door of Nuke. Really getting there. 14 10, just two rounds away. These, row. these flashes are so good. Four sub into the round. No bomb plant again. So even if they had enough in the last round, if they would have had 800 bucks more from the from the bomb plant where Rops was with the Deagle, I mean, it still... It yeah, it's utility obviously. in this round. Yeah, adds to this one. Config traded right away, but does get the count on how many people are there. At least it'll get a count of more than a couple of people. And also probably Glaive hearing it here in Donut. Not going to be able to get anyone just yet. And the bomb plant very fast this time. That's what they were lacking in the last round. And this time they're going to get it. Rain to take down Glaive, and it's a three versus four, and a very They're awkward. saving. Yeah, they are. They're falling back already. Blame F is already sinking over to the B-bomb site. Zipix as well, just helping Farleg escape. You kind of mentioned it, though, in, in, in the other round, that even in the round that they lost the first one here, they, they found out that the A-bomb site can be accessed. Yeah. And now they're just going back to it was the third time now. I Yeah, I was going to I was gonna bring that up as well. It feels like that's kind of a real weakness that Kerrigan's trying to take advantage of and just saying, fine, play it, play it passively. Now, this time, Config was kind of up in their face, but, I mean, that that's a rough play when all five players are coming right at you. Stick it to... Save four rifles on the side of phase and three on the side of Stratus. And uh, one, one interesting thing to note, an extra little factor of these B hits is, remember when, when phase was on the CT side and Astralis was attacking into, or excuse me, these A hits, and attacking into A, you know, is Twist getting multi-kills from that entrance to Donut when, when phase is running these executes to the A-bomb site? Glaive's backing behind the smoke. No one's really challenging. Config's not able to get clean fights. They've been able to spam a couple players down, so there's no real challenge from that second angle on the entrance to A. Change of pace and a different look now for FaZe, it seems like. Gonna be boosting up over the smoke, and that's a perfect play. Sip coming down. You see that smoke down from the CT side, and you think, okay, well, probably they're gonna be aggressive behind it. So you just catch them. Using their smoke against them. An old judo trick. I think that was in the Art of War. Glaive. Yeah, worried about the flashes. You can't really blame him. Config is inside of the bomb site. It looks like Farnig and Blame F wanted to just look into middle, find out what is happening. But FaZe have fallen just a soil. They had fallen a soil down. The second flashbang is amazing. I think Glaive dodged about, like, his three flashbangs that he dodged. He was looking into the wall constantly and just yeah. eats that one. That sucks. Config going to go down as well. That's the round. That is the round, and now they got to be thinking about saving these weapons. Although, actually, hold the phone. Faze is... No, sure not. Yeah, Kerrigan's on an investi investigating mission over towards the B-bomb site. He's going to see it's clear. He'll call everyone back. Yeah, will he? 
He, he wants to, he's going to do it right now because it is a long map to run through. But yeah, there we go. I was getting scared for a minute there. I thought, oh, hold on. Yeah, hold the phone. There's actually both defenders are here. All right, good read, good call. They're going to have enough time for the bomb plant as well. And now the question is, how much do you hunt here? They have, you've got some money on three out of five players yeah. on the face side, so you could. That took about 20 seconds to get there. That could have been a little dicey yeah. if they waited, waited longer. Let's see. Already spreading out. Maybe always leave one person at the bomb site just in case, but... Astralis need these weapons. FaZe has, has one last wrinkle for this map. And it's right here as they've gained control down towards the end. They're going to lose both the guns. Farlick surely not going to survive this. Brokey's on the hunt. No scope doesn't connect. Farlick fighting for his life. He finds that rock turn in the corner. Just way too many bodies to deal with. 14 to 12. Worth it. Even losing a couple of players at the end of Farley, no problems. They take the rifle away. Poor Astralis, man. One more test. Just when it feels like they've kind of got control and they, they're, they're, they're starting to run away, building the lead, just two rounds away from forcing a third map and FaZe fights back. Nothing has been easy throughout these, uh, for the, their run here during the four groups. It's just been a struggle. 14 to 12. They have some upgraded pistols. They've got the 1M4 there on Blameth. Kind of a half buy coming out here from the Astralis side. And leaned over towards the A-bomb side. So they're, they're getting a sense for what you were mentioning four or five rounds ago, that maybe Kerrigan wants to put some pressure on the A-bomb side. Trying to set up, see if they can catch anyone here. Not going to be happening as Rain will get the double opening, although close okay. range. It's the 5-7 doing the work in Glaive. He wanted that nade, but he's not going to get it. It'll take down Sip as well. Brokey with the double to bring FaZe right back in the round. Oh, they give it up. They give up the advantage. That could have been huge. Blame F has got to make a decision. There's a smoke down. Does he want to challenge it? Does he want to go through? Brokey tapping the bomb at the corner, and that's too shallow of spam. Now he's giving away his position. Yeah, they know. The bomb is going to be planted here. Blame F, though, with a real shot at it. He's right on top. Even without the kid. Oh, they're both fighting him at the same time. Rops is going to go immediately down, but re-peeking while reloading. He wanted to take a look, and that's what's going to get him killed. Huge round out of phase. Yeah, man, I really wish Astralis could have just slowed things down and chilled once they get the 3v2. These two kills from Zipix, the Deagle on Glaive behind him at the bomb site itself. At that point, just chill. You don't need to make these aggressive peaks. Glaive gets caught with a nade. Zipix caught in a 2v1. That could have been a really, really interesting sequence to see if FaZe could have gotten that plant with three players alive on the opposition. 14-13. Guns are back. Op is back in the hands of Farlig. Still could go either way. Quick boost to try and look over. Possible to get the kill, especially against the M4 back there. Flash to set it up. Not going to quicken. That's a very quick peek there, but they're getting close. And they're going to put the pressure on Sivis on his own here, and they'll find him in the corner. Nice aggressive move. And Brokey will take down Glaive, and they don't have the right... They don't have the money to throw away these rifles. Astralis, if they can't get it right now, they're already backing out. But what? They had to catch one. Actually gets the last bullet on Farley. That is huge, and it'll be 14-14. That's such an easy entrance. Phase is just relentless. The boost up, they spot the position of Zipix. They know he's going to be occupied for a couple seconds, trying to put down a covering smoke so he can escape, and that gives them all the advantage they need. What a brutal way to take that bombsite. Glaive coming in support had no idea what was coming at him. So we're all tied up, and there's no money on Astralis. Yep, and none at all. If they lose another rifle here, that's, an, that's a disaster. They need everything they can get. A little bit of parting damage, but ultimately, the scoreline will be all tied up. So, wow, you're right. It, it, it's just, it's a struggle. Nothing comes easy. Uh, both teams, two rounds away. Yeah, Zipix knows he's in trouble. He's just like, I, I have to get at least one kill. And they're so deep into the bomb site that Glaive doesn't even know what angle that he's got to worry about. It's real tricky as well because even if he knows, if he backs out of that corner, he makes himself way more open to flashbangs, right? So yep, that boost up over the smoke and the double doors. So Astralis is not going to concede. Uh, a light buy on three players surrounding the saved AK and AWP. But you're going to need some really heroic performances, and they've even passed the op over to Config. Rookie there. Just a patience battle. Config, not the most patient player in the world. Wouldn't he's, be surprised if he loses. He's trying to edge his way into it. Broke, he's got the right idea, though. Just waiting. Twist going to walk right into the shot. So turns out Config, more patient than I would have thought. And he gets the kill. And gets away. That was a nasty little off angle. Rain wants this challenge. 
Two players in here, though. Flashbang in. Molotov on to Blame F. He wants the peek. He wants them to commit to the fight. There goes Blame F, and he's Rain's even aware. Rain's even aware, and he's not going to let it slip. <laughs> what a smart player he is. The Molotov on the one side calls in his all player to take that player down and then just covering the other side in case Farley wanted the peek behind it. Kerrigan up close, but he's going to be found in spite of the flashbang. It's Brokey. Quick switch into the AK-47 and Config. He can't find the shot there. Rain will take him down and the light by not doing as well as any favors here. One versus three for Glaive. I don't know. One in a thousand, maybe one in a ten thousand round if you can win this one. God, uh, FaZe just know perfectly when they've got a player trapped. I mean, even Blame F spamming and Rain's just like, all right, he hasn't fallen back. Uh, throw his Molotov here and he's going to be forced to do something. Yep. Yeah, where are you going to go? You have to swing for the fight. You have to try and run away. And it, so from Falik's point of view, it must feel like, okay, so I can't help my teammate who's burning alive. But at a minimum, if I don't peek, they won't check because, you know, if I was there, I would have helped. So yep. maybe they just run in and I shoot them in the back and like, nah, they're still checking. <laughs> Frustration from Config as well. 15-14, 30th round coming up, and FaZe looking to close this one in two maps. Astralis, the light buy means they can buy in this round. They knew that. They wanted to at least have a chance to play for overtime, and they have it here. And Config deep in the middle already. Oh, oh this, this is a fake. This is a fake as well. This is based off previous success. That's a huge kill. Glaive's going to have all the information. Farlick finds one as well. It's the B bomb set that's under attack. That's the bomb dropped as well. Yep. He actually pushed forward into the into the ramp, Farlick, to check... Nice. So he knew. Config hidden in the smoke. Just rain in a one versus five. Oh, man, I can't believe they didn't buy that fake more, though. He got so deep in there, Kerrigan. I'm actually impressed that they didn't just straight up rotate everyone out of the B bomb site. Valik went to check. Rain trying to see if he can still angle. Some more kills in here. But it looks like it'll definitely be over time. 15-15. Back at a point in time. And that was also Kerrigan doing exactly what I kind of described, is trying to play with the su success at both bomb sites, yep. having an execute on A, setting himself in alone, trying to get one kill. If he finds that kill onto Glaive, you take pressure off of that B bomb site. Obviously, didn't come to fruition. Config just found a fight that he didn't like, which is a rarity, and backs away. Oh, Kerrigan. Oh, you complete, Rat cruel bastard. human being. <laughs> All right. Went a different route. <laughs> oh, sip. We'll find, we'll find an end too. Harrigan is all over the place. He's just opening up the map. Three versus four. But what do you do if you're Astralis right now? You just must be so confused. Where are they? Oh. Finding one there. That's a great gift. Harrigan's going to start wrapping towards B. Blame F looking for it. He's got the kill. Now he needs to adjust and he's got a double. Huge step up from Blame F. And maybe it could be a, a moment of real frustration if a phase because you get those kind of openings, you think that's it. You know, there's nothing nothing left to do, but yeah. somehow they slowed it down. They found the kills. They isolate Kerrigan. That's absolutely massive. I mean, Config finding at least one in middle right after Kerrigan gets his double. Oh, Brokey. Almost getting the timing there. Config. Out did you see him? him? Farlig definitely did. Half HP. Don't, don't do that. Yeah, definitely don't. But Config has worked his way in towards Donut now. And Blame F coming from the other side of the map. I don't think Brokey's going to see what's coming. There's the peak. Oh, he adjusts. Somehow he does find it. Over to the B bomb. So we go. Utility spent. Farlick's going to hear that. But these footsteps, I believe Config could hear all yeah. of these. So, yeah, there's there's no trickery. There's no sneaking around anymore. 17 seconds. Going to run straight for it. It will be a miracle if he can even live through the first fight here. 10 seconds on the clock. Just running out with that AWP. Oh, oh my God. He still gets it. It's impossible. And now it's a one versus one. Config has got to be sweating bullets right now. He comes in for it. It's the shot. An absolutely out of this world clutch from Brokey. That should be an impossible round to win. That, look, we said we said FaZe had some daggers left. We said that they just know how to inflict heartbreak. What? I, <laughs> I mean, that is a missed opportunity. Blame F maybe missing some shots. Ah, I think Farley just peaked a little early. How does he even... Think about how no! many positions Farley could be in, in on the bomb site. Yeah, you just got to take a guess, take a risk. I don't know what it is about Brokey, but he seems to win unwinnable clutches with some kind of crazy frequency. How do you recover from that round? That started with the Kerrigan double. Yeah, it did. Sip. Oh, missing the spray. No more bullets left, and he's going to get traded. Twist will take him down. Config all in in the middle, and with a flashbang in his eyes, he's lucky to even get out of there. That could have been horrible. Four on five to start this round with.
Not the hardest round to recover either. Look at the HP on guys like Kerrigan and Rops. That's easy multi-kill potential. The Rops is going to be a nuisance as a lurker. Five on four. I think phase pump the brakes. I think if you bang your head really hard against the wall, you could develop like temporary amnesia. That might be a way to get over that round. Yeah, we did. There was a moment there where we thought maybe banging your head against the desk was a nice solution to get yourself back in the game. Was that Glade Dupree. that did that? Dupree. That's right. He did it. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> Twist, wall bang. That's at least something. Ah, nice shot. shot. Yeah, config here. It's not bad at all. 45 seconds. Goes back to take a little bit of a peek. Misses the second one, but that's confirmation that something is definitely going on. And they're getting more people in here. Config burning alive, but he takes two people with him. It's worth it. 40, not even that, 30 seconds here. Farlik sneaking into position. Very hard to clear if you're on the other side. Coming in, Rob's there. Almost his back showing, and he's dead before even realizing where he was. Rain trying to see if he clutched one of his own. Oh, and he gets one more headshot. It is so ridiculously close. Dude. I can't believe it. That's not cool. <laughs> no, it's not, but it, but I thought but it also was, is. I thought he was winning that for a second. I thought, I thought he had that. Oh, my Lord. 3v1s against this team, just so difficult. Okay, man. It's also, it's now that we're in overtime and it's been such a struggle. It's hard to even know what happens if we actually go to a third map. Like that's such a test of endurance for either team, but it feels like maybe even more so for Astralis. I really, now I've, more than anything, I really want new. Yeah, I, I actually really do too. This has been a really cool series to watch. Config's got 31 kills. Yep, 16-16, here we go through the smoke. Zipix is backing away, and they gave a lot of space up. Good nade kill, that's important. Now they need to establish some safety for this retake, but the deep smoke is gonna allow Kerrigan to be in such a strong position. Zipix gets one more, this time spam through with the M4, and Kerrigan behind that smoke able to take down Config. It's a four on three retake. Look how far Glaive is away though. They're gonna have to slow this down. They're gonna have to be patient and wait really far away and Brokey's in a position now with the AWP that's hard to clear they don't have a Molotov or anything so they I don't think they're going to be able to get rid of Brokey that easily this is his time off the clock yeah this could be a horrible round phase even a man down real good shot at winning this one Glaive walking straight into it and it's a three on three Kerrigan not flashed but shot in the back instead Brokey he's going to be blind for a second can't get the no scope and they find Rops at the same time not at all bad that's going to be a very close call, Dan, but they'll get the defuse anyway. When he's been called upon, hasn't really, it feels like, not necessarily put together. Oh, actually, he's got 25 kills. That's like a quiet 25. Yeah, kills. he's crept up there slowly. Shout out to our boy Zip, the cyborg. The man with a million nicknames. It's true. Don't have one for Carrigan yet, I feel like. Try to coin the idea of the accountant. You just have a degree in it. Fits with his, you know, keeping track of everything, what everyone's doing. Yeah, Ben Affleck, uh, called. Yeah. Can't use that one. There's a resemblance there. <laughs> Is there? 1760. <laughs> <laughs> ben Affleck, much worse at Counter Strike. <laughs> yeah, loser. Here we go. Brokey saw something around that smoke. I have no idea what it was. Took a shot, it was close. Took a blind one, that was close as well. I actually would love to know where that bullet landed in comparison to Config. It just looked, for some reason, it looked like it was right on him. He's sneaking up, though. I like it. Kerrigan ended the, the T side pushing crazily. So um, it'd be fun to see Config try and do something similar. Get some space. Astralis need two rounds. FaZe need three. And Glaive is sneaking around forward on those A hallways. A little bit paranoid that someone's there with him, but... They're a little bit further back into the site. No mid control though at all for the phase side. So Astralis are getting a lot to try and split this map with. This feels like they're gonna pinch the A bomb site through yeah. Donut and obviously Glaive in main and then Config is gonna be aggressively lurking to cut off anyone trying to cross over to the site. Although he takes an advantage, he tries to get way more, bit off more than he could chew. That would have been a winning play if he could have crossed, but obviously shut down. Now 20 seconds. Opening kill provided by Glaive. That's gonna send people forward. He doesn't need to progress. He's already secured the bomb site for his team. And they get the bomb plant, not interrupted by anyone. Good headshot from Glaive as well. Rain gonna be dropped next. Brokey and Kerrigan. Not much they can do in this particular round. And, and off the back of Glaive, shout out to him. They mentioned him on the desk as well, the man who's stepped up so much for Astralis recently. He's gotten them what they couldn't get in the first half, or in, the, yes. in, the, in regulation, which is two chances to actually close out the map. 
I think I thought, I thought for, I think for Twist he was playing anti flash. He had his back turned to the to the hallway, so a little bit unfortunate. Easy kill for Glaive to start with. I think you're seeing it probably yeah, just his back turn, not quite ready for it. No flash came though. Just Glaive walking into it. Beautiful round out of him. 1816, one more round for Astralis. And then and we got they, Nuke. And then we got Nuke. Which we, we deserve it, I feel like. We deserve so much. Rops aggressive in A with the AWP. One more round. It's good defense for it as well. Rain's the only player at this B bomb site, but Astralis not yet pulling the trigger. Blame F investigating. Does he want to go in dry or does he want to flashbang? There's the crouch peak. Rain takes him down with no real issues. Ooh, that smoke didn't go anywhere. He wanted it, so he's going to have to bail out. Ooh, nice nade and the follow-up wall. Bang and a Farley will take down Kerrigan. Oh, that is... An, what a recovery from losing the early engagement and then still making up for it. Yeah, but big boy Brokey's here. Stepping up to the plate. It's quiet on the map. What Brokey's been subjecting his enemies to in the last couple of days has been nothing short of ridiculous. Maybe he could do it again. Force that double OT. 40 seconds. And Astralis have given a lot of rope for FaZe to do something stupid with, which they haven't done. They're <laughs> really slowing it down. Not moving. Eventually, they're going to try and go for it here. And there's a lot of grenades left on the Astralis side. So they might be very difficult to hold this bomb side for Brokey, even if he has that AWP. Yeah, because it's been so quiet as well, FaZe hasn't been able to cheat an extra player over. Only now do they realize where it's coming. Brokey, that's one kill for him. Right in next to the Molotov. This time, running deep into it, he almost has the shot, but not quite. And now they're behind there, getting the bomb plant. Farley's tagged low, but I don't think it really matters. They should be able to escape and get a little bit further back. Still, a Molotov on config and a single smoke on Rob. So, some utility to watch for here in the Flashbang after plant. Flashbang on Farley. Zippix yeah. could call it out. You're right. He's just waiting for it right now. And they're slowing it down. Sip gets dropped, and that's unfortunate. Still a 2-1-2, two two. that smoke, not on top of the bomb, and surely Config is thinking about that on the other side of the smoke in the cave. AWP, not found there, it's the Molotov, and it's a nightmare now for FaZe. The pressure is on, they have to find these remaining players. Farley shooting Robson in the back, and it's one versus one. Twist, oh. he tries, but it's not enough. The wallbang not connecting either, and he's out of time. He gets the kill, but it will not matter. 